It's amazing how things can change so quickly. One moment, you're a normal college student sharing laughs with friends and swamped by endless schoolwork, and the next you're running for your life, away from those same people you were so close to before. At, at first it started slowly, the CDC dismissing anything that sounded like an epidemic. Scientists and doctors even went in front of the country and declared that it was only a few isolated cases and there was nothing to be afraid of. Things changed so quickly. The disease spread across the globe, air transportation providing the perfect delivery system. From there, it was only a matter of time. It took only weeks for the world to fall. Society collapsed. The cities were the biggest hellholes. Millions of people crammed together. They didn't stand a chance. For days, I watched from the safety of my dorm room hoping that what I was seeing on the news wouldn't find me. How could I be so naive? As the days passed, many within the student body turned. This was the time to leave. Packing up, I departed from what I knew and into a world unknown, plagued by fire and death. With my best friends in tow, supplies and some bullets, we set out for safety, wherever it may be, all the while hunted by phantoms that we used to call humans. Looks like a loner. I'm taking the shot. Looks like something spooked him up. Survivors, maybe? Maybe, or another pack. We gotta keep moving. Alright, let's go. Come on, guys, let's go. All right, let's take five. All right. That. Guys, this is all I got. What? Really, man? How many do you have in there? Just a couple. Beef jerky? Fishy crackers? Where in the world did you get sweet tarts? Did you guys not stop by Costco when we passed oh by? Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. It's the apocalypse. It's all free. Do you have any Twinkies in there? No, I think they went bad. But you got sweet tarts. Yeah. In the middle of the apocalypse. Can you share? Yeah, I guess. Jeez, man, no wonder you're holding a set pack there. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. Whatever spooked up that last one was either survivors or more of them. We can't stay here for long. Every group of survivors we've run into, or have run into, it hasn't been a great deal. I say if they're survivors, we gotta stay away from them. Every survivor we keep alive is some zombie we don't have to kill. And maybe they'll have food. Either way, we can't stay here for long. Let's wrap it up. You know, they always go for the last one in line. Come on, man, get back in line. Who put you in charge? <laughs> Uh, no! No! What did you just do? I had to. He was bit. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah. Let's go. Come on!
It's sad how life can so quickly come to an end. Luke was a friend, yet with a bite in his neck, a friendly-natured person doesn't last long. The virus works quick. A bullet is the only cure. New survivors can be a well-received treat, but attachments don't always form. The heart can only handle so much loss. Regardless, it's one more gun in the group. I'll take right, you take left. Alright. Katie, got a flare? Coming right up. Put it right, go left. Move on. Chase! 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 Chase!
Come on, get up. Get up. Come on. Chase, you guys I gotta go. go. Chase, I'm not you leaving gotta you. Gotta go. I'm bit. I'm done. I'm not leaving you. you. No. I'm... Just go. Chase. Go. Come on. Go. Come on. Go. Go. Come on. so much is uncertain and it seems like you can never win one thing rings true another day is triumph enough Oh! <laughs> 